Okay. okay. Come and have sit. Oh, this is like YouTube. Uh, um. yeah. Wow! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, that, that wow! 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 You are the first Kazakh shown on this stage. I'm doing the translation. Uh, welcome me. Thank you. I once went to Xinjiang and uh, I was really fascinated by your uh, hospitality. Uh, the other guy asked, Do you, Have you been growing up riding a horse? I said, I've never seen a horse when I was young. Can't you uh, describe your life on the grassland riding a horse as a Kazakh? I said, I replied, I grew up in a small town where people take two buses. So you have never been on the grassland? I said, no, I'm just growing up in the city. Oh, you look really strong. That's quite Xinjiang. And, and uh, you look like a guy who rides a horse a lot. And you speak good Chinese. And uh, as you replied, I, I really have a good appetite and I always been eating really well growing up in Xinjiang. Mm -hmm. And uh, when, when it comes to Xinjiang or Inner Mongolia, everybody rec reckon people grew up on the horseback. But actually, <laughs> a lot of people in Xinjiang don't have that traditional lifestyle anymore. And the, one of the judges uh, is from my province, so we, yeah, uh. she, she told me she is also from Xinjiang. And now I'm supposed to look at 24 girls in front of me and choose someone I have a crush on. Okay. So I'm watching them one by one, and uh, now I click a number, number four, which is this girl. Okay. And uh, they are doing the same thing. They will decide to keep me on the stage or not according uh, by lighting up their lamp. Mm. They are 24. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. green. Uh, yeah. Um. So I got 24. And only two said no, so I got 22 left. Wow, okay. That's why everyone is congratulating me. And number 23 said, I think the you look chubby and slightly fat for me. <laughs> and the judge said, no, this is strong, this is not fat. <laughs> and number eight girl says, I totally disagree with her. I think, she's, uh, I think this guy is very attractive and looks like a big knight. Okay. Uh, with, with confidence, this is very good. And I said, oh, sure, this girl knows. Oh, oh just receiving Just receiving oh, Yes, yes. And no wonder it, you have <laughs> this. receiving email. Okay. It's, it's wow. shown on 8th of April. Okay. And, oh. Yeah, 20 days ago. Yeah. So since this 20 days, I received over 2,000 <laughs> emails. Wow. <Yeah. laughs> good. 100 per day, every day. <laughs> it's fun. And some of my photographs. And so you can see the number drops. And oh, here yeah. I'm talking oh. about couch surfing. Uh, ah. and yeah, and after that video, a lot of people were asking me about couch surf. Like, because okay. they have never heard of it. And, uh, no, that's the one here then. Yeah. And now I'm talking about like how, how important it is for Kazakh men to do some cooking and family chores because mm -hmm. uh, this is traditional Kazakh. Uh, <laughs> you don't see them uh, much. And I said, I said, I, I, I usually do the chores, and I believe it is very important to be equal among everyone. And yeah, I was eating naan even in Shanghai. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Kazakh culture was based on the harmonious relationship between man and nature because mm. you live together in a way. And, uh, so these girls are from which province? Mm. From all over? Or I mean, it's show. The, the girls? Uh, everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. And I was talking about like my love philosophy. I said, now in the modern culture, people, young people tend to make quick decisions right after they know each other. I, I, I said, the last generation 
uh, most of the people come from the same place, so it's easier for them to know each other's background and everything. So it's quite easy to, it, it's quite easy before to make a decision and get married. But now we are moving everywhere and we're migrating to all kinds of different cities. So it's really hard to know each other well in a short time. So I believe young people should be patient enough to know each other well. Nice. And uh, unfortunately now in China, not so many people are marrying each other for love. They are marrying each other for something else. And that's quite sad. So I, I said, I'm an idealistic person. And then I got zero. So, so I lost. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I thought they, 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 yeah, oh. I thought. It, it, for the for the story, then they will know you better. And oh yes, they know me better and better. But it's all positive, I, said, I thought. Well, yeah, it, it is all positive. But the cases in China, we say, uh, cabbage is cabbage is or uh, radish or anything. It's just something personal. I mean, when you make a decision whether you like or not, it's totally respected, yeah. right? You don't have to say, oh, why don't everyone uh, like? Why doesn't everyone uh, love me? Yeah. It's no, no hard feeling. Yeah, it's their personal decisions, and I really respect them. And I got a chance to present myself, and uh, it turned out to be according to those thousands of emails I received. It's, it's I, I am kind of popular, yeah, and on the show, and I, <laughs> I enjoy it. Exactly, the goal is to find someone who would like to go out, like get out of the stage with, you. and usually um. sometimes it's only one left or more than one, mm -hmm. and then you, the boy, in turn, can decide who to go with. The, uh, a channel that you can know someone and get to know each other well and you look sad. Uh, you, you look sad, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Life goes on. Yeah, I said something like that. I said, yeah. yes. I said my idealistic lover is a happy, simple person who is relaxed all the time and uh, cherished all the beautiful moments of life. And uh, it'd be great if we can travel together and become a, a couch surf couple. Oh, you forgot to Yes. Good.